Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. And today I got a nice G-Shock metal. Well, not really. I have a Chinese G-Shock. So this is a G-Shock homage. Uh, it's a, I don't even know how to say this. Skmi 1456. As indicated on the case back so this is a pretty cheap digital watch very much of a g-shock esque i mean the bracelet is looks nice but it's super unrefined very noisy kind of rough like this will be one i'm probably going to soak in some mineral oil to soften up a little bit it's very kind of a just noisy the layout is almost identical to a G-Shock. Let me grab one here. So you can kind of see the layout. You have time, date, the day, and then the date. So same kind of layout. Buttons are a little arranged a little differently. So on the G-Shock, you have the light over here. On this one, the light is over here. Uh, but then the mode button is the same to go through the same mode. So you have your time, alarm, stopwatch, a second time, and a timer. I'm back to time. The whole CD on this thing is pretty bad. I mean, look at that. You got really bad viewing angles on this thing. Up and down, not too bad, but side to side is pretty bad compared to like a G Shock. Uh, functions are kind of backwards, so this button right here just your um, you get a hold of it. So this one changes between 24 or 12, and then this is your setup button. So you got to hold it, and now you can go through and make changes to all the various settings. Done, press it again. So pretty simple setup. So, yeah, not a bad watch for this watch. I think shipped was twenty dollars so it's not too bad you yeah, know i think it makes a good beater watch so in case you're wondering because i was um is it possible to take like a, a g-shock module either a 5600 or a 5610 and put it in this into the metal case and the answer is no not possible how do I know? Because I tried. So I actually opened it up just to see if it would accommodate one of these modules. And this has a round module. So I'll show a quick picture right now. And then the case back is a total pain in the ass. It's a press down case back. So it doesn't screw. You have to, you have to um, right here, pop it up. And then good luck closing it. It took me like forever to freaking close this thing up. But otherwise, um, you know, it's not bad. You know, for twenty dollars, if you want a beater, a beater watch, something to wear, um, wear and not care. Here's a close look at the links. Let's see what they look like. I'm, the, I'm not sure what this is coded in, but if you can see right here, I had to kind of get in there to pop open the case back. And it held up pretty well, actually. Let me see if I can somehow... Yeah, right there, so you can see I had to pry right there and it held up pretty well. I mean, I was in there digging in with this thing pretty hard, and the coating held up pretty well. So you can kind of see a couple scratches right there. But you would think it would look a lot worse because I was really digging in there. Otherwise, um, yeah, not a bad watch. For $20, you can do a lot worse. So, 
AliExpress if you're looking for one, but I mainly got this with the hopes of transplanting the movement in there. So not sure what I'm going to do with this thing now that I know I can't. But that is all I got on this one, guys. I'll just show you the clasp. Stamped. Signed, though, so it's got a nice touch. Double button. But you can see this thing is just rough. Got four micro adjustments.